So we're going to, now we're going to take the water the balloon into the water bottle in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Experiment. Yo guys, Jay's World here, and today we will be doing another science experiment video. Now, if you haven't checked out my last video, then don't forget to go check it out. I will be leaving a description in the video in the comment section. Comments, comment section. Ooh, I can't speak today. And um, in the last video, we did. Um, We did a crazy experiment with um, random food objects, but not, which um, ended very weird, weirdly. Spoiler alert! It didn't work. But, but check the video out anyway because that's a very good video. But today, apparently, we're going to be doing. We'll be seeing how we can build a phase inflator from a water bottle. Now, if you don't know what I mean. Then, um, then I will show you during this video. But when I'm recording this video, it is night time right now. So, so the next evening, I will be doing the proper experiment. But for now, see you tomorrow. Right. So, um. It is now the next day, and I am now going to um, start the experiment. So first thing I must carefully pour half the vinegar into the bottle. Well, but, well, I haven't even got a cup, so I'm just going to have to estimate what a cup looks like. I just have to guess what a half a cup looks like. Right, so that's the vinegar part done. So now I've got to loosen up the balloon by stretching it a few times and use the funnel to fill it a bit. It's more than halfway with baking soda. So I'm going to do that. So now I've put the balloon on the funnel. So now I'm going to um, fill it halfway with baking soda, as you may see. I would love the lovely baking soda, or bicarbonate of soda, whatever you want to call it. I would prefer calling it baking soda. I just literally have, I just have a little taste of it down and it really tastes nice. Feel free to call me away down in the comment section if you that like by, by the way. Right, so um, apparently it's more than half. So I think that's it. As you may see, it's more than halfway now. I'm just going to literally just going to shake it. 
or do whatever it takes so, so we can go in the thing. Come on, balloon. Oh! Done. That will. Oh no, I think we're having a bit of a midlife crisis, guys. I'll just um, fix that now. And I'll just rub my hands. I'm literally gonna have to get a teaspoon for this. So I'll um, see you guys when I do get a teaspoon. So I'm back with a teaspoon, my number one lifesaver. Now I'm gonna literally just um, put the blue back where it was supposed to be. So now for this, to prevent it from happening again, I'm going to hold the blue out and just try it and scoop up any of that remaining items within the table. I'm so determined to get this many bits in the balloon. So now I've got Thing all filled up now. Finally, after one spill later. So now apparently I've got to carefully put the neck of the balloon all the way over the neck of the bottle without leaving any baking soda. Not letting any baking soda into the bottle. So that's what I'm going to do now. So um, again, I'm having a midlife crisis. So please forgive me on that subject. Right, so now I've got that done. So now we're on number four now. I'm going to lift the balloon up so that Baking soda falls from the bottom into the bottle and mixes the vinegar. So we are now going to do that. In fact, I think it's better if I go get some towels in case it will spill everywhere. That's what I'm going to do now. So this is the change of scenery guys. We're now currently in the kitchen. Because um, I'm a bit scared that these stains might go on the carpet if it like spurts out anything. But, we can only imagine what it looks like. So now I'm just going to hunt to get a towel for myself and I, uh, I might even get an old t-shirt for myself as well in case that will happen. So let's uh, go over to the bedroom. Excuse the mess. Um, so now I've got dressed into my old clothes, so now I came fully prepared for this experiment. So, what we're now going to do, we're going to tip the um, thing over now, the balloon. So the, so the bicarbonate of soda will go into the water bottle and we'll see what happens next. So we're gonna, now we're going to take the, water, the balloon into the water bottle in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <gasps> oh, 
Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I'm standing well away from this. I'm turning the luxury off everything. Oh my god, there's a progress. I'm standing well away. It's been done. The blue might pop. In the kitchen sink. So, so guys, now we've got the um, balloon going, as you may see. So, um, I'm always expecting now a big massive bang now. So, um, we'll show you the aftermath of it afterwards. I think it's been a cool experiment so far. What about you, Angela? She says she doesn't know yet. But um, we can only tell by the massive bang that's going to go in the kitchen later on. So I'll catch you when something different happens. So there we have the um, water, it was a balloon now. So um, you may faintly see it. In fact, I'm going to turn the conservative light on. So you can maybe now you can like. And I, um, the balloon can literally just pop any second, literally. So now, we're going to try something. Now obviously, um, from what the internet's saying is, it just, it, this balloon is supposed to, what happens is, is that the, the vinegar and the soda is supposed to inflate the balloon. So it looks like this. But, we're going to see. What happen if I use these scissors and pierce the balloon? So we are now going to give it a try now. So, stand back and relax and enjoy the video. It's not doing it guys. We're going to literally just, we'll try it again, and then we're going to see what happens, so um, so now we did that, and um, so we popped the balloon and this is what was left, so um, yeah. I'll get back to you in the bedroom. So, in today's video we got um, a balloon basically inflated. So, so what I was supposed to do was, it was supposed to um, bicarbonate of soda and the um, vinegar was supposed to inflate the balloon while found out and not to burst it. So um, what happened was, the um, bicarbonate of soda met the vinegar and obviously the vinegar and bicarbonate of soda bubbled up and started rising to the top, up to the balloon, and started literally inflating the balloon. And um, obviously, and at the end of the video, I um, went out and see what happened if I pierced the balloon, which I did. And um, yeah. But anyway, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then don't forget to leave a like on this video for more of these videos coming your way. But and also comment on the comment section as well if you if you want any. For any video suggestions, I can't speak today. And um, so yeah, as always, I've been Jay's World, you've been awesome, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.